Hi, it's Saltash Massachusetts, Tutor and I'm going to be talking about some uh, basic algebra, the first things you need to talk about, and I'm going to be talking about expanding a single bracket. And I reckon it's going to be about eight minutes of your time to invest. Okay, let's go. So the first horrible bit of algebra is we have to understand what a term is. Da, da, da. What a term. There we go, a term. And all a term is is something to do with something like x or y or z. So you could have 2x. And what does that actually mean? Well, that in itself is a little bit of shorthand because what it actually means is 2 times x, 2 multiplied by x. But for shorthand we just write say 3y. So that means 3 times y. Or, I know, 4t. That is 4 times t. What else could we have? Uh, let's have, I don't know, 15z. And that just means 15 times z. So there is, and we're going to come on to this, this is going to be important in our bracket thing that we're going to talk about in a minute. It's this idea that there's a bit of notation and it's this shortening bit that we've done here and here and here instead of writing what you and I sort of used to three times, three times, three times. It's just a little bit of shorthand. Something else I think we need to just highlight is what sign belongs to which thing. So we've got 3x plus 4y plus 2t. Where does, where does that plus belong to? Well, the plus is all the sign, because it could be plus or minus, is always in front of the term that it applies to. So in that case, it's plus 4y and it's plus 2t. Something else that we can highlight here is also that if I write 3x, it's an assumption that it's plus 3x. And if it's not plus 3x, then we always write minus 3x, which would equal minus 3x, I suppose, for completeness, if we were doing that. So, there's quite a few things here, isn't there? There's the, the fact that the terms always belong to the sign in front of them, or the sign in front belongs to the term, whichever way you want it around. And there's this whole thing here about the plus and the minus sign. Okay, so there's a few bits. So firstly we've got the idea that a, a term is something like 4x or 5y. We've also got the idea that if we were to write say 3x that actually means 3 times x. And the other thing that we can assume with this is that because there is not a minus written here then that actually means plus 3x. Or in mathematics we'd make it very very clear and we put a minus and let's say you have a 4z and that means minus 4 times z. So we've got terms and we've got an idea of some notation here. And now we come to the bracket thing because you will have seen questions like this and be wondering how the hell do I do this? How do, how do I do this? I don't know. How? Well, that's what I'm going to uh, going to talk about right now, just so we can get rid of any confusion for you. So here's an idea: uh, if we've got um, two times six, we know that that equals twelve, don't we? Now, in maths, and and I promise you, this is the last time I'm going to introduce something. We can also write two bracket. 6 and that is just the same as writing 2 times 6. So if we had 3 bracket 5 for instance that would be the same as 3 times 5. And I'm now going to expand this idea even further and when I pick a colour that I want to use, should we use that colour? Yeah let's use that colour then we can say 6 is, we can make 6 out of all sorts of things, couldn't we? Um, 6 could be um, 2 
plus 4. Okay, well, I'm going to put it in a bracket to, so that I know that actually 2 plus 4, that's 6, just the same as here. I'd also like you to just think about this. Look what I've done here. I've got a bracket with two things in it, a 2 and a 4. Very similar to this up here, isn't it? There's two things inside the bracket. And I'm going to put my 2 there, because remember over here, 2 times anything in a bracket, well, that's the same as here. 2 times something in a bracket. Now, I, but here's another thing. I already know what 2 times 6 is. I know it because I've worked it out here. 2 times 6 equals 12. So I know what the answer is. And that's 6 as well. So therefore, the answer must be 12. How do I achieve that? Well, here we go. This is how we do it. I multiply everything, every item, every term on the inside by the outside. So, let me give an example. Let, let me work this one out for you. And I've just written that bit here, how it says, okay, so this is my rule, I'm going to multiply each thing in the bracket by the outside. Okay, here we go, this is what we're going to do. So, 2, that's my first thing in the bracket. It could be x, it could be t, it could be 15, it could be, but my first one is 2. Multiply each thing in the bracket by that. So, okay, multiply 2 by the thing, by the outside, which is 2 as well. So that's 2 times 2. Okay, uh, multiply. so I've done the 2, so let's now do the 4, multiply 4, but hey, yeah, it's plus 4, multiply plus 4 by the thing on the outside, that's 2, so it's plus 4 times 2. And, just got rid of my um, rule there just so it's a little bit clearer, that means if I work that out, then that's two that bit there, 2 times 2 is 4 and then plus 4 times 2 which is plus 8 and 4 and 8 is 12 okay th there is the explanation for you so I've just written the rule up there again multiply each term in the bracket by the outside so now I can actually answer that question that I posed earlier 3x plus 2, what does that equal? Well, I'm going to apply the rule here. And we're going to have multiply each term in the bracket by the outside. OK, here's the first term I've got. Because a term can be x, it could be 3a, anything like that. First term, x times the outside times 3. So that'll be 3 times x. And then we're going to have the next term, because so I've got to multiply each term in the bracket by the outside, 2 times 3, plus 2 in fact, plus 2 times 3, and that all comes out as 3x plus 2 times 3, 6. And that, my friends, is it. There's nothing more to it than that. That's how we multiply. In fact, look, I'll tell you what, I'll give you another quick example, and then we'll finish here, and I'll do a workout in these expanding brackets. Okay, what should we have? Let's have uh, four. Um, let's have, in fact, let's hey, let's have two y plus one. Okay, let's not freak out, everybody. This is actually just an application of those rules that we had. I've got to multiply each term in the bracket by the outside. Okay, well here we go. Let's do the first term. That's two y multiply the term outside the bracket, that's 4. Okay, and then I've got the next term, which is plus 1, multiply the term outside the bracket. I'm just following the rules. Okay, 2y times 4. Well, I've got two y's, and I multiply them by 4. How many y's have I got? Well, I have got 8 y's, plus 1 times 4, which is 4, and that is the answer. Okay, that's me done. 8 minutes and 27. We've done a whole load of algebra just to get you started. Um, if you want to comment, then do. If you want to ask me questions, please do. Subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and on YouTube. I uh, hope this has helped. This is Soltash Math Tutor.